Welcome back to Smart Money Monday. Today we're going to discuss the connection between today's low unemployment numbers, rising interest rates, and inflation. And here to help make sense of all of this, we have Taylor Kirihara from Bank of Hawaii. Aloha, Taylor. Aloha, Steve. So, Taylor, we just had a new jobs report that showed solid growth and an unemployment rate of only 3.7%. That's good news, right? Definitely, Steve. The U.S. added something like 263,000 jobs in November. Okay, on the other hand, though, the Federal Reserve keeps raising interest rates, which is bad for employment, right? Right again, Steve. So the Federal Reserve has dramatically raised the interest rate six times, if you can believe it, for a total of four and a quarter percent. So why is the Fed raising rates? Well, it's simple. To bring down inflation by cooling off the economy. So what does inflation have to do with the low unemployment? Kind of a lot. So since the pandemic, there have been a lot fewer people working. In fact, for every unemployed worker, there are almost two job openings. So a very small supply of workers and a very high demand for them causes... Well, that causes inflation. And in this case, something called wage inflation. And that means workers can ask for higher wages and em employers have to pay more. And once wage inflation sets into the economy, it's hard to reverse it. Which I guess brings us back to the Fed raising interest rates. Exactly. So to slow wage inflation, the, the Fed raises interest rates to cool down the economy. So even if the cooling off of the economy results in increasing unemployment. Yes. So the Fed is trying to engineer what's called a soft landing, where they cool off the economy just enough to bring down inflation without causing a deep recession. Wow. All right. Hey, Taylor, mahalo for not only explaining inflation, unemployment, and rising interest rates, but actually making it all make sense. My pleasure, Steve. Mahalo. Mahalo. And thank you for watching Smart Money Monday. Thanks, Taylor.